Hi, hello, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of The Crafting Coach. My name is Megan Rosendahl. I am The Crafting Coach, and this week I'm going to show you the simplest way to display homemade art. I found this week's project in a video circulating around Facebook, so I thought I'd give it a whirl to show you just how easy it is. This week we're going to create a basic form that can hold virtually any size paper, plus the artwork it holds can be easily changed out as many times as you'd like. So here's what you're going to need for this week's project. Four strips of wood lath, about a foot long, stain or acrylic paint, eight round ceramic magnets, this eight pack was only $2.49 at Hobby Lobby, and a hot glue gun. You'll also need some sort of string or ribbon, a paintbrush, a pencil, and a scissors. Do you remember my 25th episode of The Crafting Coach where we learned how to make a reversible snowman and scarecrow? If you haven't, be sure to check it out. Just go to AberdeenNews.com, hover your mouse over the 605 Life tab, and scroll down to The Crafting Coach. I have a ton of wood left over from that project that I'm just going to use, but for this project you can also just use paint stir sticks. Begin by painting your wood. Just a reminder that you can also use regular wood stain if you'd like a more natural look. Cover both the front and back, plus all the sides, of each of your four pieces and set them aside to dry. Next, grab your dried pieces and your magnets. I'm going to mark a couple inches in on each piece on each side. Then I'm going to grab my glue gun and glue one magnet on each mark. You will want to make sure to pay attention to the polarization on each magnet so that they will attach to each other when you're done. The last step then is to just take your piece of string or ribbon, I'm using leftover hemp cord from my macrame episode, and just tie a knot on each end of one piece of wood. Make sure it's long enough so you can hang it when you're done. And that is it. Let's go find some artwork to hang. When you find something you want to display, just lay it over one piece, snap the second piece to it, and finally snap the remaining two pieces together at the bottom. This project creates a perfect form to hold any size artwork securely, and the bottom pieces carry enough weight to make your display hang nice and straight. And additional artwork can be changed out so easily. Your kids will love how easy it is to display their hard work. I'm going to be making four or five of these to hang in my daughter's room. Well, that is all that I have for you this week. I need to thank you very much for sitting down and taking the time out of your busy day to watch this video. As always, I will be back next Friday morning at 11 a.m. with another brand new project just for you. We'll tear it apart, we'll break it down, I'll tell you what to do, I'll tell you what not to do, and hopefully we'll have just a little bit of fun along the way. Be sure to follow The Crafting Coach on Twitter. You can find me at crafting underscore coach, and also be sure to follow my Crafting Coach board on Pinterest. You can find me under Megan Rosendahl. In addition to following the Aberdeen American News, be sure to follow our Facebook page too, where every single Crafting Coach video is made available for you. If you have any project ideas, tips, tricks, suggestions, please email me at mrosendahl at aberdeennews.com. We'll see all of you next week. Bye!